Hi, I'm Sreen from Sitecore and in this presentation we will learn how to install Sitecore CEP from the web application installer. We will install Sitecore using the Sitecore web application installer. The web application installer is available at SDN in download section. You can reach the download section at http colon double slash sdn.sitecore.net slash resources dot aspx. You may watch installation options video from Sitecore developer fundamental series to learn how to download the web application installer. Download the product installation guide and troubleshooting guides from SDN and go through installation guide to ensure we meet the hardware and software requirements to install the product. You may like to watch Sitecore developer network video from Sitecore developer fundamental series if you are already not aware what is SDN and how to download products and reference guides. The Sitecore web application installer is a standard Windows executable that makes it easy to quickly install and configure Sitecore CEP while automatically configuring lots of options. It helps you with installing new Sitecore instances, removing existing ones and checking prerequisites. You may also turn the mode to expert should you need to control advanced configurations. It automatically installs the correct DLLs as per your operating system size, sets configurations in IS, chooses .NET Framework version and provides correct permissions on file system on your installed application folder. Additional advantages of web application installer includes continuous improvement to keep it paced with Sitecore release versions. You may use the log created by Sitecore installer for monitoring and troubleshooting. The web application installer is usually suited for a quick POC or self-learning as real-life development, staging and production environments require you to have more fine-grained control over the installations. Let's have a high-level understanding of prerequisites required for Sitecore installation. The Sitecore hosting environment should match the required Windows OS, SQL or Oracle database, Internet Information Server, .NET Framework version according to the version of Sitecore planned to be installed. Visual Studio is must for development but it is optional for Sitecore installation. Please consult product installation guide for the prerequisite for your planned version of Sitecore to be installed. We need to ensure few assets and access right to install Sitecore such as the web application installer, an appropriate Sitecore license, administrative access to computers and database where Sitecore is to be installed, Sitecore recommends SQL Server. So we will need SQL Server user credentials for SQL Server configured for mixed mode authentication with access to SQL Management Studio. Sitecore Client is the set of interfaces letting you interact with Sitecore host. The interface is browser based so any machine capable of running modern latest browsers with resolution support for 1024 into 768 or higher is perfect. A high speed connection between Sitecore host and client maximizes the productivity and experience. In most cases such as developer environment where everything is self-contained on one machine the experience is best. Let's now install Sitecore from Sitecore web application installer. So once we have ensured the prerequisites and all the required assets by going through Sitecore installation guide, we can begin the installation. Let's double click the Sitecore web application installer to begin the installation. Allow the installer to make changes once Windows user access seeks the permission. Click next on the welcome page and choose new instance from the two options. You may also select existing Sitecore instances to delete them. Choose new instance, click next and accept the license and click next again. Of the available installation type, choose complete so that we install client 
and database on the same machine. You may also choose database option if you have dedicated database server and then choose to install client on other machine to access database server with Sitego databases installed. We choose complete and click next. Provide a name for your Sitego instance. In this case, we use Sitego 7. Note Sitego instance name and Sitego website name may be different. Click next to choose license file. Click next to proceed. You have the option to choose from SQL Server or Oracle from the database vendor list. We choose SQL Server as Psycho recommends SQL Server. Choose your SQL Server instance and provide SQL Server login for mixed mode authentication, usually the default user SA and your password. We may also control database prefix in advanced mode. Click next. Choose the installation folder usually inside WW root. We go with defaults here. Switch to advanced mode if you wish to custom define the location for Sitecore CMS root and the databases. For us defaults are good so we click next. Now it is time to name your Sitecore website as already discussed it could be different than Sitecore instance name and creates an entry in host file. We will look at host file later in an upcoming video. You may switch to advanced mode if you wish to disable MVC which is enabled by default in Sitecore 7. Change app pool or the port number. For this presentation defaults works perfectly so we click next and go ahead to install step and click install. Once the installation is over, on the finish tab, you may choose to launch Sitego. This brings up Sitego client login page. In case the installation fails, please refer Sitego product installation troubleshooting guide. In the next presentation, we will look at the installed components and configurations made by Sitego. Please provide your comments and feedback at our YouTube channel to help us improve and encourage. We would also love to hear if you have a site code topic or feature that we can help you learn. Once again, this is Sane from Sitecode. Thanks for watching.